I feel so fancy. Like, yes, I'll take that, and I'll take that, and I'll take that Ferrari over there. my channel. I am Nikki. I hope you're all doing great today. I really mean that because after all, we're here to do a wig review. And before we get into it, I have to ask, did you get subscribe? I mean, why not? You're missing out on so much, especially if you love wig reviews. So please join the party and click the subscribe button down below. And if you have done so already, thank you so very much. I greatly do appreciate it. So of course, this wig on my head, she's gorgeous. That's who we're talking about today. She just recently dropped as well. I have a lot to say about her. So please make sure you watch all the way through. I don't want you to miss any of the information I'm going to tell you. And please go to in the comments to give me your respectful feedback. I love to hear your thoughts. And not only that, if there is a wig you'd like me to review, just let me know since I happily do take requests. So are you ready? I know you know who I'm talking about today from looking at the title, but I'm going to give you all of the info here. So today I have a wig from Outre and she is in the style Kalinda. She is a 13 by 6, 360 degree lace front. She is also a human hair blend and the color I have her in is a DR Ginger Brown. She comes available in a total of nine colors. They also like to show some of the special colors on the back. Um, so if you're not familiar with this particular collection, let me just tell you a little bit about it. Uh, let's see, she has a pre-plucked hairline with a natural shape. She has a pre-attached elastic band, and she is also heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $69.88. Ta -da. Of course, I have one more thing though. Uh, let me show you what I'm wearing from my eyeshadow look today. I am wearing the Tropical Vibes palette from Ace Boots. Ta da! Those are those shades. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is she gorgeous? Yes, she's very gorgeous. I feel so fancy. Like, yes, I'll take that. And I'll take that. And I'll take that Ferrari over there. And that's really what she's making me feel like. That money is no object. <laughs> I mean, this is what you go to the salon and walk out just feeling gorgeous about. Just, yeah. Need I say more? Just stunning. I love this pattern. I mean, these curls are to die for. Um, now, just so you know, your fingers are your best friends, especially when you need to comb through her. Finger combing her is the best. That's actually my preference regardless of any wig I'm wearing, but especially for her because I watched uh, Wheezy Wig Reviews actually uh, talk about her and one of the things she did was she used a brush and she regretted it because she had to go back and use hot rollers to get the pattern back to its original shape. So to avoid all that, trust me, use these <laughs> and that's what I did obviously and you can see that this curl pattern is really beautiful staying in place very bouncy I love her body I mean yeah if only my physical body was this good I'd have nothing to complain about but uh her volume I think is amazing it's just a beautiful uh, volume she's a little bit thicker for density but still very appropriate I don't think she's overwhelming and this is definitely date night hair. 
I'm not going on on a date tonight like I wish I was, but yeah, she's date night hair. <laughs> I really see that something formal or you know what? Just like me, I want to look good. Pop her on, you're gonna look good. Trust me, a wig like this, heads will turn, compliments will be flowing your way. Yeah, definitely with her. <laughs> um, I would probably put her length at about 22 inches if I have to guess correctly. I'm 5'5", five five, so she, she's like right at breast level. Beautiful layers. I mean, this cut, perfectly done. Um, uh, color. Beautiful. I've reviewed it a few times before. Uh, you do have the slight darker root here. It's not super harsh. Look at how that blends though. That's what I like about this color. It blends so beautifully. And you have this gorgeous ginger brown. Just kind of has, you know, a little bit of that uh, 530 in there to give it a little extra kick of red. And I love that. It's a very flattering color too. I think it just really pops. Bounces off the light very nice, just complimentary. Beautiful luster. I mean, after all, she's human hair blend, so she's very, very soft. Her texture is traditional, um, blown out yakky. Now, typically, I don't review many of these uh, wigs of this type of uh, texture, but I mean, come on. Do you see that? <laughs> I had to get her. I mean, that is just too beautiful to pass up, so. I, I went for it. I did. So I wouldn't say she's, you know, multicultural in the sense as most of the other wigs that I review are, but you know what? It depends on your preference. And most people out in the public don't really know the difference anyway, so it's just how you feel comfortably about it. But I don't mind it. I really don't. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And she's feeling really wonderful too. So I do like the texture of her. Um, let me show you what she looks like from the side and the back. Yeah, that movement is gorgeous. Now it is a little warm today, uh, so she can be a little warm, <laughs> but not too bad. I can still uh, handle it. Uh, so I think she's perfect for the fall and the winter months, uh, but she's not super heavy. She's not feeling like you're being weighted down or anything like that. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned in the very beginning, and I forgot to, she comes with that pre-attached elastic band, but my unit was missing that. It's happened to me once before, so I don't know how common that is, but I'm just letting you know she's supposed to have it. My unit just didn't. Just be aware of that. Because <laughs> as I like to say, if it could happen to me, it could happen to you, so I'm letting you know. Uh, but is it really anything I'm going to complain about? Not necessarily, because it's kind of a like a fluke thing to happen in the first place. And actually for me, I don't mind it because I typically don't use it anyway. So again, I'm just letting you know, it's my job to let you know. Uh, but anywho, uh, like I said, just using my fingers to comb through her, I wanna be really careful. But thankfully she doesn't really tangle all that much. Uh, after all, human hair blend, the texture also makes it easier to just kinda finger comb through a uh, few tangles that I did encounter were very easy to remove. I don't think she's going to get damaged quickly. So she should last you a little bit, little bit longer. Um, shedding thankfully is also very minimal. Can't complain about that, of course. And she's a 13 by six too. So have fun with her. I mean, come on, look at this updo. That is adorable. I actually think I might try that. Obviously not right now, since I'm reviewing her, I want you to see how she is naturally, but I think later on I might go ahead and give that a whirl. So I like that. <laughs> but I like the fact you could do whatever you want with her. You could put her, you know, in ponytails and whatnot, since you have that lace going all the way around. And of course, I had to part her down the center since I love center parts, and plus I wanted to recreate the look on the stock card too. So do whatever you want, but very easy to work with. Now, I did have to take my uh, wig cap off though, just because this lace is super transparent and I didn't want my wig cap showing through. So um, I did go ahead and take it off, but look at that. Obviously I created that part myself, but just a little bit of powder was all I needed to do. Look at this hairline right here. Yeah, 
for an affordable wig that is amazing. She's got the baby hairs, which I did trim a little bit. I'm not all that, you know, fancied about the uh, baby hairs on this unit. So, you know, do what you want with them. I trimmed them. I might actually remove them. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to fuss with them right now, though. But I like the placement of them here because that does help make that look more natural. At least to me, it does. Uh, again, really easy to blend. I mean, look at that. That lace is wonderful. And she's pre-plucked. You know, you gotta love that. Um, now, I did not uh, use any adhesive on her. I'm not really a big fan of melting wigs down. But if you um, wanna do updos or things like that, definitely you want to um, use some adhesive and melt her down so that we don't have any lift up. But if you don't, I mean, the lift up isn't all that bad. And I mean, look at these edges amazing super beautiful perfect fit around the edges very comfortable to wear and she's also larger head friendly in my opinion so um oh my god guys this wig is amazing Outre, you need to, or Outre, as <laughs> I gotta get used to that one Outre, you need to make more wigs like this beautiful good quality I mean, you do a lot of the times, don't get me wrong, but for this collection, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I want to give her a thumbs up. Highly, highly recommend you pick her up yourselves. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you already did pick her up. Tell me what you think of her now that you have her, including what color you got her in. And please also let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. But other than that, I got nothing more to say. She's another way to speak for herself, does she not? So thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time in my next video. So until then, toodaloo.